Folks, just a couple words from me. After being grilled and bombarded yesterday in Congress before the House Education Committee, today, Columbia University President Dr. Manoush Shafiq went home to New York and summoned the police to remove anti-Israel protesters from Columbia's campus. I think the two events are not unrelated. She was grilled in Washington yesterday, and today she had to call in the cops. Her message? These were extraordinary steps because these are extraordinary circumstances. I'm sure that's right, but she wanted to sound and look tough in order to keep her job, in contrast to, for example, Harvard University's Claudine Gay, who you may recall got the ax because she neither looked nor acted tough on anti-Semitism. Anti-Semitism is the issue. So Columbia Shafiq had the New York cops clear the campus. Many of these kids are going to be arrested. Many will be suspended. Many probably won't be able to take exams. Some aren't going to be graduating. Me, I still see the problem for these elite Ivy League schools as principally their presidents and their boards of directors are still afraid to label anti-Semitism a hate crime. You had kids out there screaming, we are Hamas. Okay, you have, you know, this business river to the sea. These are anti-Semitic statements. These are hate crimes. Now, just imagine student protesters were attacking blacks or transgenders or other woke identities. How fast would these Ivy presidents kick everybody out? Probably lock them up in jail. I guess uh, Manu Shafiq comes out better than some of these elite schools because at least she took an action and did lay down the law and put in a true red line of sorts and several warnings, as C.B. Cotton suggested, so better late than never. But Shafiq said to Congress she's got more work to do. The school's not really prepared for these kinds of situations. Now, in fairness, she did fire an anti-Semitic professor, a guy named Mohammed Abdu. But like most of these big-time schools, officials are still afraid to talk about Jewish history and experience going back to the Holocaust, back to Joseph Stalin, and throughout history, about the persecution of Jews. And that is a hate crime. After all, isn't a hate crime a hate crime? Isn't anti-Semitism anti-Semitism? There shouldn't be any room for any of that in any of our schools. The college presidents have a lot more work to do, but at least Shafiq brought the cops in, cleared the protesters out. So for the moment, I will score this one for some appropriate sanity. Maybe there's some progress. Maybe I'm not right either.